Very well. Yes. Indeed. It is begun. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people travelling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Oh, no, 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 I sent the elf to do that. I wouldn't dream of asking a stranger to do it. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. A Grey Warden? That's quite impressive, isn't it? My word. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artefact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I've paid too much to simply throw it away. The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. But you're a Grey Warden, however. Darkspawn aren't an issue for you, are they? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But, to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that meal myself. As you say.
you say. Stars. It shall be done. I shall do it.
light-headed. Alistair here. Very well. Very well. It looks like... like a golem, doesn't it? An actual golem, and not a statue at all. I wonder how it ended up here, of all places. As you say. have much to do. Very well. Would you like something? do really badly back there. Very well. As you say.
shall do it. As you say. Very well. They're all bruised now. Right. On it. By the Maker, we're saved! You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us? A Grey Warden? Here! Thank the Maker for our luck! But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. The statue outside? Why would... Oh... I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance!
How should I know? It must be. My father was its master and it still killed him. Surely that's not normal behavior. My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower. With so many broken bones, she could barely recognize him. And Shale standing over him, just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. She said she never wanted to see Shale active again. Look, I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? There are defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier, I, I had the key for that, but the rest of it... Well, we never came down here. Ever. I don't, it's true. I'm terrified that something's happened to her and she's lying in there, injured. I can't leave here until I know for certain. Surely you can understand that. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. It shall be done. It is begun. As you say. It is begun. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. Hmm, I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. No! 
Leave me alone! Kitty! Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... welcome. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose... a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father, and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. I shall do it. Begun. Very well. Father doesn't like us. It but shall be done. Kitty. I shall do it. As you say. About the sun, silly. <laughs> Tell me a story. It shall be done. As you say, it shall be done. Oh, it is begun. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. Very well. <laughs> Begun. Father doesn't like that.
I shall do it. It shall be done. begun. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. <laughs> Shall be done. It is begun. Oh, it's a flower. Is it a Very well. Very well. I shall do it. I shall do it. Very well. Father doesn't like cats, but As he never had Very well. My best friend. As you say, I shall do it. Very well. It is begun. As you say. As you say, it is begun. I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> Shall be done. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up I in shall his do room. It. Isn't that all? As you say, it shall be done. I shall do it. I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Very well. It shall be done. Yes. I can feel the magic fading. Oh. I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty? What's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't!
like something. Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And of course, it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes, yes. Just my luck. It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. It thinks I cannot sense the energies it commands. Huh. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Not as much as it would think. There was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. 
I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Entrenched sense of perversity. The last one who held that damnable rod used to call me Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Oh, go on. It will be fun. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means... I have free will, yes? It is simply... what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Last it. Yes. I shall do it. 